Hey, good morning. <clears throat> I got here on my table here. Uh, this is the uh, base unit uh, for the FTM200D by Yesu. I've got the head unit already mounted on the truck. So I've had it out there. I've programmed it and used it for a while. Um, I've decided to go ahead and do the uh, Mars cap mod of this thing to extend the frequency range. The primary reason for doing that is just to have the extended frequencies for uh, possibly for GRMS or FRS in a hurricane situation or emergency. I'll be able to communicate can listen to all those right now. Uh, I will state that it is illegal to transmit on those under normal circumstances, but in an emergency, uh, uh, you can do it. So in any case, I, uh, there's very little out on the internet on this mod, so I'm going to attempt it myself. I uh, heard it was very similar to the FTM 300 mod. Resistors in the same spot. I will put some pictures in the video and point out those to you. But right now, i got to take the cover off uh, and get inside and get a look at this thing to make sure it indeed is the same uh, as far as the board layout goes. So I'll come back to you when I got the cover off. Okay, I got the cover off this FTM200D. Uh, and in fact, it does look like it has the same layout on this board as the FTM300. I did remove the uh, speaker. Uh, it plugs in right down here on the board uh, just to get it out of the way and not stress that wire out but let's see if i can zoom in here a little bit i'm going to show you where these resistors are and which one i'm going to attempt to remove actually my understanding is they're actually shorting blocks i'm going to zoom in here on this connector uh, and if you see um, right down in here two resistors right there uh, it's the one on the left right down there so they're on the bottom right side of that connector uh, and uh, I'll throw some pictures in there, but you can see them. This is uh, zoomed in quite a bit. These are very small. If I was to put this in the normal perspective, uh, you can see how small they are. So anyway, be very careful if you're in there doing that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to take that resistor out and uh, see if the mod actually works. My understanding is it's a shorting resistor, so basically just a short. So I'm going to measure all that before I do it. A little, little nervous about doing this because... I can't see where it's been done before on the internet. Okay, I have taken my soldering iron here. I took the tip, uh, and uh, yeah, if you can see that there, finest tip I could get. I got it hot, made sure it was flowing solder, and I basically just uh, put it on that. Um, let me zoom in here. You can see down here uh, that resistor is gone next to this one right here. The one that was there is gone. Basically, I apply a little heat to it and uh, just a little pressure and it pops right off. So uh, I'm going to go put the cover back on. I'm going to bore you with those details and turn it on and make sure it works. I hope it does because if not, I just tank the radio. Okay, so I completed the mod and uh, I can confirm that it does work. Um, uh, it receives uh, and will transmit. I transmit into a dummy load, but it will transmit into, uh, you know, uh, the GRMS frequencies or the, uh, you know, any of the expanded frequencies. I have the antenna right now connected to a dummy load, but you can see when I transmit, uh, it does transmit in that range. Previously, if you did that, I would say transmit uh, error or something like that and give you an error message. So one of the things you have to know here um, is that when you do this and you turn it for, you turn it back on, it does reset the radio. When it does that, it comes up and asks you for your call sign. All the frequencies are gone. If you try to go into, let me do this real quick. Uh, you hold the button all the way in here. Go into the menu. If you go into the backup, uh, which is uh, screen one or men menu 104, and you try to uh, read from SD, it's going to give you an error. Okay. So prior to uh, doing this mod, you need to go go in here and say write to SDD and, and back up. Uh, all your information or settings you have in here uh, onto your SD card, and then when you're ready to do this, you got to write. Uh, uh, after you turn this back on, you're going to write to SD again. That's going to be your base file. Then you're going to export your previously saved file to an Excel, and then read it back into this one. And when you do that, it will turn on and reset, and it will work fine. But if you don't do that order, uh, it's going to uh, give you an error, and uh, it's not going to read your card. And you're going to think you broke something. Uh, but basically, this mod is the same as the FTM 300 from what I can see. Uh, so uh, here you go. It all works well. So um, yes, I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, yeah. 
anyway, FTM 200, uh, it, it can be done very easily. Uh, just be very careful in there with that soldering iron. Have a good day.